Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before we start, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as well as that, comment down below, I subscribed, and you'll be entered in our monthly shoutout giveaway. On today's video, we're going to be looking at hidden discoveries about Richard Oldman Harrison. According to his interview with You Served, Richard Harrison enlisted in the U.S. Navy in 1958 and served until 1979. He spent 14 years of his military career deployed, listing the Spanish ports of Barcelona and Madrid as his favorite spots. He spent time on four ships, but he mostly enjoyed his last assignment, which was more than five years on a small fleet tug with only 76 people aboard it. In a passage he wrote for his son's aforementioned autobiography, Harrison said that there was a 14 month gap in his service after he left in 1962, but he re-enlisted to get medical benefits for his firstborn child, a daughter named Sherry. Sherry had Down syndrome and unfortunately she passed away at 6, an experience Harrison described as part of his life's share of heartbreak. Harrison and his wife Joanne raised three sons, Joe, Rick, and Chris, and when they became teenagers and too much to handle for Joanne, Harrison retired from the Navy to spend more time at home, though he claimed to have spent another 10 years in the service if he could. It was a great life, he said. Harrison obviously framed his naval service as a great experience, but he stopped short of boasting about his specific achievements while enlisted. Those accolades came to light shortly after his death. Anyone who's watched a few minutes of Pawn Stars knows that the art of the hustle in the family business came straight from the top. The old man was as ruthless a negotiator as Rick, Corey, and Chum Lee, and in his case, it clearly came from a life spent scraping up a bucket at every possible opportunity. While he was in the Navy, Richard Harrison turned a tidy side profit by running a payday loan service for his fellow sailors, loaning them cash, with interest of course, between paychecks. According to Rick's autobiography, the old man also ran blackjack games out of his room, but he didn't play in them. He dealt the games and as a result raked in cash and sometimes collateral, like a new set of china one unlikely gambler had purchased for his wife in Hong Kong before losing his shirt at the old man's table. The old man was a pawnbroker before he was a pawnbroker, Rick wrote of his wily dad. Richard Harrison ended up in San Diego in 1979. Freshly retired from the Navy, he decided to join his wife Joanne in her small but successful real estate business according to son Rick's autobiography. Unfortunately, the housing market had other plans. I should have declared bankruptcy in 81, but I didn't. I lost a fortune, the old man told the dispatch in 2011. Faced with skyrocketing interest rates due to the recession of 1981 to 1982, Harrison decided to pack up the family and move to Las Vegas in a last ditch effort to turn his other side hustle, selling gold and silver, into a small business. Years later, Rick snagged a pawnbroker's license, a rarity in Las Vegas at the time, and father and son went to business together according to Las Vegas Weekly. That $10,000 investment became the world famous gold and silver pawn shop and a business that turned the Harrisons into millionaires. In both his 2011 autobiography and a 2013 Forbes interview, Rick Harrison said that if his dad ever retired, he would be dead within six months. Obviously it was a quip, but it framed the old man's worth ethic in a way that led fans to expect him to be around until the very end. Richard Harrison addressed the subject of hanging it up for good in 2012 with Haggerty, and people asked me many times, well Richard, when are you going to retire? I tell them the day I walk through that door and it's not fun, I'll quit. The old man stayed true to his word and never formally took his leave from the pawn shop. Though illness kept him away and eventually took his life from life's work, he left a legacy that won't be soon forgotten. He lived a very full life, Rick wrote in a remembrance post on the Instagram, and though the history television show Pawn Stars touched the lives of people all over, teaching them the value of loving your family, hard work, and humor, and rest in peace old man. With that said, this will bring us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, once again, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and as well as that, comment down below saying I subscribed, and again, you'll be entered in our monthly shoutout giveaway. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video.